in August 1993. <laughs> so for taxes, um, he made it so that about 80% of the tax increases fell on wealthy families with an annual income of, of over 200,000. And by 1996, millionaires contributed over twice as much to the US Treasury as in 1992. He also made tax rates for lower income families reduced to their lowest level since the 1970s. Um, and for spending, he um, like did a total cutback of 77 billion. Um, a lot of this came from the annual defense spending, which declined 17%. Mm. Yeah. Um, and a significant decline of long-term interest rates following the Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act um, suggested that Clinton's strategy was working. <laughs> yeah. And then there was an economic boom in the 1990s, which is usually attributed to um, the chair of the Federal Open Market Committee, Greenspan. Um, but this professor, Iwin Morgan, argues that um, Clinton and Greenspan's unique relationship where they respected each other and um, like they never opposed each other openly um, facilitated the economic growth because usually presidents and um, Fed chairs didn't get along because presidents favored pro-growth economic policies and Fed chairs prioritized low inflation, but they decided to work together instead. So, um, the United States entered one of the most remarkable expansion cycles in its history from 1996 to 2000. Job loop, um, unemployment fell from 5.6% to 4.4%. To Inflation was on its lowest track since the 1950s, and labor productive productivity increased at an annual rate of 2.7%. Um, and Greenspan acknowledged, acknowledged Clinton's contribution to this, saying, if you had not turned the fiscal situation around, we couldn't have had the kind of monetary policy we had. So yeah. He also did the Balanced Budget Act and the Tax Relief Act in 1997, um, which um, had a lot of progressive tax cuts that advantaged middle and lower income families. And it also aimed to eliminate the, de the deficit over the next five years. Um, after he passed this act, the budget was balanced within one year. There was $400 billion in added revenues generated by economic growth. And the fiscal years of 1998 to 2001 saw the first sequence of four annual balanced budgets in a row since the 1920s. Yeah. And he also um, ratified Bush's NAFTA. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Relationship with Canadian Prime Minister. He got along very well with, with Jean Crit. <laughs> Christian. Christian. They were golfing buddies. Um, yeah, and Clinton even helped Cartian in the 1995 Quebec referendum, saying that the United States had always benefited from a strong United Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So for national security, mm -hmm. what do you think? Mm -hmm. I don't know, because it seemed like he was actually doing a lot, but then but then everybody blamed him for it. And they said he was negligent. Because mm -hmm. he did cut spending on yeah. the military, but he also like developed the drone program. Yeah, like yeah. I think like seven. Yeah, seven. Economy he seemed to do well. Yeah, economy seemed really like good. like a nine. Like yeah, it's a nine. and then relationship. Good. Like an eight. Yeah. Twenty twenty-four. Where is that guy? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Okay. Next up, John. John. I don't know my French. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so for national security, so right after 9-11, he did like a bunch of different actions. So they like restructured the cabinet for decision making with like a special security committee, committee? committee <laughs> with a special security committee. Um, they allocated the budget to um, new security budget with $8 billion over five years. There was a new controversial anti-terrorism act and they restructured the bureaucratic mechanisms of the, of the security of Canada. And they also focused on border security. That's what you asked. Um, 
So yeah, he was struggling because he wanted to ensure the security of the U.S.-Canada border, but also wanted commerce to flow. But now there were security threats. No. Um, okay, economy. Apparently the standard of living really improved. The oh. gross domestic product per capita rose during this time 29% higher than when he started. Economic growth was 3.5% in the decade. Um, unemployment rate dropped. Inflation was low. Oil prices fell to Canada. And when he took over power, the debt was 68% the size of the Canadian economy. Then it was only 42% of the GDP in 2003 when he left. And the debt and tax burden levels were back to what they were in 1984. How well he got along with presidents. Him and Clinton, they were both conservatives. They both had like low expectations of each other, but they compromised. They respected each other. Um, and Clinton helped Clinton during the Quebec referendum. Mm -hmm. And they golfed together. <laughs> um, him and Bush, they clashed when Bush became president mm -hmm. about deposing the dictatorship of Saddam Hussein. Um, but then after 9-11, they got closer and he agreed to send troops to fight in Afghanistan. Nice. Yeah. Um, national security, sounds like he was, he was going a lot after 9-11. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find anything really about before. That's okay. But um, <laughs> like I would say like an eight. Yeah. Nine. He was there for the States. Mm. Like 8.5. 8.5. Um, Plus um, economy. Economy. Well, it was like bad and then it was good and then it was bad again. Or oh, no, he helped. He was good. Oh, okay. Economy. I think like nine. Nine. Oh my God. Yay. And how well he got along? He got along with both of them. Yeah. So like nine. So nine. Mm -hmm. I think that's the highest. Whoa. Wow. That's crazy. Good job, Jean. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, I would give like a eight, and then got along. He got along with all oh, the yeah, other people. Did. Yeah, like an eight. Yeah, that's good. Eights all around. Across the board. Where is he? Eight. 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 Wow. Wow. Oh, amazing. Okay, Stephen Harper. <laughs> National security, so he raised budgets for the Emergency Preparedness Canada, the RCMP, and immigration during the War on Terror. Um, he, in 2007, he wanted to strengthen public safety with the Correctional Services Review Panel, and he increased punitive measures within the prison system, like you're not allowed parole and no day passes, which is interesting. Yeah, that is not very much freedom for prisoners. Yeah, uh, he thought he was being helpful for safety, but. I don't know about the well-being of the um, prisoners, because mm -hmm. um, it did, it led to an increase in violence and death behind bars and an increased length of time to be served by criminals, and prisons became overcrowded. Oh, yeah. that is um, he also made tougher penalties for child predators, okay. and he criticized the UN a lot oh. in international treaties, mm -hmm. and it um, cost Canada's international reputation. So, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> um, and the economy... A uh, quote from one of his books says, I believe that all taxes are bad. <laughs> um, he eliminated some programs regarding health, environmental, and safety. He cut GST by 1% just months after the election. And then in 2011, the annual lost GST revenue was $13 billion. Whoa, um, <laughs> $13 billion. Program cuts included the Charter Challenges Program, Canadian Food Inspection Agency, Human Resource Development, Canadian Institutes of Health Research, National Welfare Council, Status of Women Canada, the Native Women Association, Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council, Environmental Department, Natural <laughs> Natural Resources Department, Fisheries and Oceans Department. So those are all the things that he cut funding from. And then the program raises were Emergency Preparedness Canada, the RCMP, and Immigration Canada. All right. Um, oh, also air pollution and climate change programs were reduced by 60% funding. Um, Oh, but he did sign the European Free Trade Association, the free trade with countries such as Iceland, Norway, and oh, Switzerland. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, he believed that, that um, he believed that provinces should take the lead on social policy. Um, he had a profound dislike for the welfare state. <laughs> Seems like it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, how well he got along with president. So Bush and Harper, they got along well. They talked about other friends. Obama and Harper, they worked together well. They, um, it was notable that they called each other by their first name. Um, oh, there was a rocky start when Obama's office was a bit protectionist of the border at first. So like one of Obama's people in his uh, office, one of like his office people named Janet, she compared our border to Mexico's border, which offended Canadians. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't Obama himself. That's true. Um, Harper also criticized Obama a little bit because he wasn't approving of the Keystone XL pipeline. That makes sense. Because like, Obama didn't want to do that, but Harper really wanted it. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Um, oh my gosh, where did it go? So, he, national security. Um, he, he did a lot for like prisons in Canada for yeah. security. Yeah, but was like wasn't that things? not really? No, <laughs> so like I would I don't I like a six. That. Like he tried, but it was not right. Yeah. Um. um economy. Economy. Bad. <laughs> not good. Not as bad as like he didn't like make not everybody go into but like a debt, four. like the other guys, but uh, he didn't triple the deficit. He, he didn't triple the deficit, <laughs> but he did do a lot of things that were probably he not great. So many. Yeah. Canada. Yeah. That's like a three or four. Yeah, maybe like a four, three, three and a half. Four. <laughs> um, and then how well he got along. He got along fine. Yeah. Six, seven. Maybe like seven. Seven. Seventeen. Oh gosh, he's joining the group. <laughs> I don't like this guy though. <laughs> no. He's joining the big group. He's joining that group right here. Mm hmm. This is like all the besties over here. Like, I can't believe um, how long you were prime minister for. Pierre Trudeau's in there. Yeah, I know. Oh, poor Pierre. Sorry, Pierre. Yeah. Yeah, Stephen Harper's prison thing seemed like pretty bad because, like, they just made overcrowding. 
Yeah. <laughs> like that's literally what it was. Yeah, exactly. It was like I keep it in the street safe. 